Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna talk about how do you prepare for a three-day water fast. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I'm a woman on a mission to get a million people here this year learning the art of fasting. So hit the subscribe button, notification, and share this video out or any of the videos out so that we can get the world fasting. Those of you that share my videos, again, you know we're in this together. You know my mission. If you keep coming back, you keep sharing, I'm just so grateful for you. We are gonna end chronic disease through fasting. Doesn't take time, doesn't take money, only takes knowledge. This is why we can get the whole world doing it. So thank you, as always, for your generosity, your kind words, and getting this information out. Okay. How do we prepare for a three-day water fast? So if you're new to my channel or you kind of stumbled upon this video after long after I, I publish it, we're in the middle of a fast training week. I do this five days out of every month where I bring my community together and we practice fasting together. This week, we are practicing the three-day water fast. So if you wanna join that experience, just put companion guide in the comments and we have a whole guide that explains what Fast Training Week is and how you can do this one with us. So, and that's a free guide. I also want you to know that Element has, been, has generously donated five boxes, five boxes, which has 30 of these minerals in them, which fasters need, especially on a three-day water fast. They are donating five boxes every single day during Fast Training Week. So you can uh, get one by going to the companion guide and then getting the link and entering. It, it explains it all in there. But here's the thing. So depending on when you guys are, are coming to this video, if you are joining me in this experience, I really want to encourage you to follow some really key principles to be able to succeed at this three-day water fast. And one of them is you got to prepare for it. And I'm going to give you my favorite hacks right now. So. First hack, one week before the fast, this is what I want you to do. There are several changes I want you to make to your foods, um, and I'll talk a little bit about your fasting lengths. So the first thing you've got to do the week leading up to a three-day water fast is you've got to avoid the three most toxic foods. This is your bad oils, these are your refined flours and sugars, and these are your toxic ingredients. In the companion guide, we list out what these are so you can go down and, and understand them in more detail, but this is basically the standard American diet. Second thing, I would encourage you to bring your caffeine intake down. Now go back to the video I did before this one talking about why you would wanna do a three-day water fast. I talk a little bit about how you would use coffee in, in, the, uh, in a three-day water fast, so go back and, and listen to that video. Third thing, week before, you wanna up your good fat as much as you can. So some good fat options. We are huge fans of Andrea's seed oils. The reason I like Andrea's seed oils is they're highly cold pressed, organic. They're great for stabilizing your blood sugar. So up your oils. You can do ghee. I love ghee with some raw nut butter. I often do before I do a three day water fast. And then as always, MCT oil put out by Bulletproof is great in anything liquid. So the week before, let's up these oils knowing that we need to stabilize our blood sugar so that the three day water fast will be a little easier. Okay, the fourth thing, one, two, three, fourth thing that I want you to do the week before is I want you to up your minerals. So uh, we have fasted, my, my platform, my team, I kid you not, we have probably gone through this three-day water fast experience with millions of people. And one thing that is very, very clear is that the world is mineral deficient. And you are mineral deficient for two reasons. One, our soils are mineral deficient, especially here in America. I've done a lot of videos on that. Two, if you do any sweating or you're an extreme athlete, you're definitely gonna be more efficient. And then three, if you've been fasting a while, you become, this is one of the, the, the consequences of fasting that we don't really like, which is your minerals can be deficient. So lots of great ways to improve mineral content, but the week before I would be upping your element. 
Um, and we, again, in the companion guide, we'll list all my favorite mineral resources. Okay, last thing you wanna do the week before your three-day water fast is you wanna increase your fasting length. So if you are 15 hours, like you've got a groove with 15 hours, can you push it to 16 or 17 hours before the three-day water fast? Um, if you can do, you can bang out 24 really well, could you maybe go you know, you do one whole day where you don't eat and then maybe you do 30 hours of fasting? Wherever your comfort level is, could you just push it anywhere from a couple hours to five hours increase so that you create what we call a hormetic stress? This hormetic stress, what it's gonna do is it's gonna force your body to adapt and now when you go in that three day water fast, it will be easier. Okay, two days, Second, next thing is two days before the fast. There are two major focuses I want you to have. One, I want you to avoid all refined carbohydrates and sugars. So this is breads, even the gluten-free breads, breads, pastas, cakes, cookies, get them all out. I wanna make sure again that you're getting the bad oils out. That's really important. And I want you to take the fruit out two days before. Here's why because we wanna stabilize your blood sugar. So please make sure that you're not going into the three day water fast amped up on sugars that make, or foods that make you insulin resistant. The second thing I want you to focus on two days before your three day water fast is I want you to up your protein. As much protein, if you are a carnivore lover, dive into a steak, get yourself some more chicken, like up your protein. This is not a time to be counting macros. I want you to bring your protein up and I want you to bring your veggies up. Why is that? You're gonna feed your microbiome with the collagen from protein and the veggies will also have feed different microbiomes, different bacteria. So this is really important because these bacteria will balance blood sugar. So I want you to up both of those macros and I want you to avoid the harmful oils. I want you to get off the refined carbs. I'd even tell you get off the diet sodas. Anything with NutraSweet in it is gonna make you insulin resistant. So that's two days before. Okay, the day before. I want you to sharpen your fasting focus. And here's how you do it. One, you gotta know why you're fasting. If you are like, hey, I think I kinda wanna try a three day water fast, ugh, that could be hard. So I would encourage you to know what problem you're trying to solve, what is it that you wanna, why do you wanna do this, and really get con convicted to that why. Second thing you, I want you to do is set an intention. So this works, when I do a three day water fast, if I have any problems I'm working out in my mind, I just put it out there and I'm like, okay, help me solve X, Y, and Z. During this three day period, you're gonna be amazed how much insight can come to you. So set an intention, ask a question, just put it out there. And it, you again, you will be amazed at how peaceful your mind will get and how problems that seem really big right now on the third day of that water fast will not seem so big. Those of you who've done this trick before, put it in the comments what you noticed. Okay, the next thing I want you to think of with sharpening your focus is I want you to gather your fasting knowledge. So get yourself some fasting books uh, go binge watch my, my videos here, but you, when fasting gets hard, I would recommend you come back to my YouTube channel, start watching videos on it because you will get not only the enthusiasm that I have for fasting, go read the comments. You're gonna get the enthusiasm everybody else has for fasting, but you're gonna see the science. Just when, when it gets hard, really dive into what I've provided here for you guys. And then the last thing I'll say on this, on sharpening your fasting focus is I want you to think about what are you gonna do when your mind yells at you? So your mind is gonna say some things to you like, why are you doing this? Do you really need to do this? It's gonna try to talk you out of it. So already ahead of time, what are you gonna do when that happens? Are you gonna go for a walk? Are you gonna turn on your favorite Netflix series? Are you going to call your fasting friend and be like, mind is talking at me? Ahead of time, think about that. Okay, last two pieces to this, to the preparing for a fast. I, the fourth thing I want you to think about is know your boundaries. When do you need to break the fast? This usually comes from two things, your numbers on your ketones. So if you get 24 hours into this and your number is down in the 40s, your blood sugar, break the fast. 
So you, I want you to know those boundaries of numbers. The other thing I want you to know are the symptoms. Some of the worst symptoms are when you get fatigued and dizzy. If you're really lethargic, like you can't pick up a limb, it is time to break the fast. I don't care what kind of commitment you made to yourself. If you are incredibly lethargic, it is time to break your fast. This is all in the companion guide, so know your limits. Okay, last thing. I know this is a long video. The fifth piece to preparing is surrounding yourself with community. So I have a couple resources for you. My Resetter Collaborative on Facebook is a free fasting community, really positive. Just put Resetter Collaborative in the comments. My team will send you a link over there. If you need more guidance in my academy, my membership group, we have guides in there that are supporting people, giving more attention to people going through this process. But this is a cool experience. So remember that if you want to know the ins and outs of this, put companion guide in the notes. And if you love this experience, join me in my 15 day fat burner reset. We're starting one next week. For 15 days, I take you through all different types of fasts, all different types of eating to be able to unstick weight and turn yourself into a fat burner. Burner. Those of you that have done three day water fast, put your results, put it in the comments, please, so that people can lean into this and gain inspiration from you. Hope it helps.